Hi guys, I am at St. Is Village here in Lapland and it's just started snowing. So I just wanted to show around just a little bit. Sign there that says the differences. Trying to get behind me here. some restaurants and shops and then I think we're turning around so we can see the our circle here. If I can get it turned around here. So this is the Arctic Circle, which is clearly marked. This place is beautiful. It's just like a winter wonderland like you see in the storybooks. And this is the line for the Arctic Circle. And that building over there is where Santa Claus is at. I was visiting him earlier. And yes, that's the temperature outside. So that is it. This place is not as big as it looks. And it's just one little area right here. And then there's, of course, hotels and different activities which I'm doing those later in the week so this is it welcome to the Arctic Circle I wrote and mailed out postcards to my friends and family in my office. Alright, it's time to go off to meet the real Santa Claus. The line was about probably an hour wait, but it was well worth it. Um, as you see, they go through here to the line to get to meet Santa Claus. So these doors had little peep holes you could look through. Uh, behind door number one was Felipe's Kitchen, and then behind number two was Baby Ranger Care. Okay, Santa, come see me. I'm on the good list. Uh, 
I added note the time because I was the first U.S. visitor of the day. The real Santa Claus. I stayed at the village probably until I think I left between 2 and 3 because I couldn't check into my Airbnb until after 3. So I grabbed a taxi into town um, to take me to the Airbnb. I had to meet the host to get the key and let me in. Um, once I got checked in, kind of unpacked, settled. Um, her place was about a 10 minute walk to town. Um, so it was real close. So I ventured off and this is the little square area, it's an outdoor mall area. Um, so I was in search of an ATM and food. I was starving by this point because it was kind of expensive, which is expensive here as well. Um, but just a word of advice when traveling to Finland, do not bring US cash because I was screwed, I was panicking. I cannot get it exchanged anywhere outside of Helsinki and I didn't have much of a connection there. My mom ended up having to wire me money and it was kind of a big ordeal. Um, so this was the next morning going to my next stop to Evova. Um, another funny story, I almost missed the bus. I got up about, I uh, left about 6.45 because it was supposed to be just a five minute walk but when you're walking with a ton of luggage and in a foot of snow it was not too easy so this is actually a mailbox that the driver was stopping at and this is the halfway point um, that they let us out at so I stopped to get a video with the snow um, so whenever I got to the bus stop I was literally like running out the driver was like packing up and ready to show the store I was like literally like waving my hand so I was like, hey, hey. I think when we did I didn't make it as you can see because I don't know what I would have done otherwise So once I get to Evolva, which is my next stop, I am meeting up with my group, Girls Love Travel, and my guides. Um, and from there, we go on to Utopia, Finland. These are just different ski villages that we went through to stop and pick up more passengers with the bus. In all, it was a four-hour drive um, from Rovania to Evolva.